I just wrapped up a wonderful few days in Mexico City and now I've arrived in Mexico's second biggest city of Guadalajara where I'm going to be meeting up with a local Instagram friend named Carlos and together we will be showing you the best that the city has to offer on this warm, lovely summer day. From the delicious food to the breathtaking nature, beautiful churches, and the wonderful hospitality, pretty much everything that you'll be seeing from now on will be shot on my new Lumix G100. So with that being said, let's hit the streets. Despite being the second largest city in Mexico, Guadalajara gets far few visitors in places like Cancun, Acapulco, and Mexico City, and I'm not really sure why. Guadalajara is the capital of the state of Jalisco, which is the origin of Mexico's greatest traditions and products such as tequila, cowboys, cholula sauce, santana, and of course, mariachis. Sitting at 5,000 feet above sea level, this sprawling city of 4 million residents is completely surrounded by green mountains and the largest body of water in Mexico. We are in Lake Chapala. Lake Chapala, so it's this beautiful lake with all these local people around here swimming in the lake, um, having mariachis, some nice restaurants. Lake Chapala measures 80 kilometers east to west, 13 kilometers north to south, and covers an area of over 1,100 square kilometers. So we just uh, hired a mariachi group here. Right. <laughs> Hola. And they're gonna play for us right with the beautiful lake behind them. As we head back to the main part of the city, I have one thing on my mind. Food. You probably already know that Mexico has one of the most diverse and delicious cuisines in the world, each state having their own specialty dishes. That's exactly the case here in Jalisco, and I'm so excited to give it a try. What are we gonna eat today? So we're gonna grab uh, tortas hogadas for breakfast. That's one of the main typical dishes from Guadalajara. Awesome, I'm hungry, let's do it. So tongue, tongue pork, 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 chicken. Que es tu favorito? That looks incredible, dude. Just make it swimming in that sauce. Yes, that's why it's called hogada. Now this looks pretty good. Mm. All it is is a sub with meat inside, but it's all about the sauce. That's the thing. You douse it in the sauce and the bread is so strong that it can stand a lot of sauce. And it's good. Stomach's full, we headed into the historical center of Guadalajara and I was seriously blown away by what I saw. We're now in Plaza Liberación. That is one of the main plazas in Guadalajara. And it's between La Catedral de Guadalajara and the Teatro de Goyado. And it's actually a lot more beautiful than I was expecting. I mean, there's literally no tourists around here and my favorite building is that church with the yellow tops. It's absolutely stunning. Guadalajara is a city not to be overlooked in Mexico, and I haven't even mentioned the fact that the region is totally surrounded by blue agave plants. That's the main ingredient of tequila, but you'll learn all about that in tomorrow's video. I'm just now arriving back in my hotel here and that was just an incredible day spent in Guadalajara, really underrated city. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun using this camera. It's so lightweight and compact. It takes one second to turn on and shoot what you need to shoot, and it's just that easy to use. The autofocus and the amazing quality are the two biggest features that stand out to me about the G100. And also this little selfie stick, it plugs into the side of the camera, and you can even click record right here, so it's so easy to film yourself as you walk through a city. That's it, guys. I will definitely be bringing this on my next trips, and I'm super looking forward to it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys for more content tomorrow from Guadalajara. Good night. Yes. 
I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.